Here's a little story all about how my life got twist turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. All right, I'm not gonna do that for you, but I am gonna talk to you about something that I feel like many men have been lied to about. So, let's just keep it real. I talk a lot about masculinity, what women want, 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 want because the two go hand in hand, right? Right. So, I feel like now, more than ever, men are wondering like, who am I? What is my role in the journey of a woman? Then you have feminism like out there telling men like, we don't need you anymore, we've got this. Which I'm like, bullshit girl, we ain't got this, we still need their penis, okay? Okay. But for real though, that actually is for real. Um, I think more than ever men are asking, what is it? What is our role? Now listen, obviously I am not a man. I mean, I'm wearing a dress with a bow for crying out loud. So I can't tell you like how to be a better man. I can just tell you what it is in masculinity that us women desire and what we need and what resonates with us. And hey, what really turns us on and makes us want to get in the bedroom with you. So here we go. So I feel like men have been lied to, um, men have been told you're the producer, you go out and make it happen, you provide for your woman, blah, 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 blah. And uh, there is a huge element of truth to that. Now things have shifted, right? Women can provide for themselves, they can do things for themselves now. We, we got that, I think we're all clear on that. No confusion there, okay? Where the playing field has been leveled, but one thing that I feel like men have not been given the permission to do and to be is a very important word which is called vulnerable. When I work with a lot of men, I coach single men or I coach men who are struggling in their relationships and I start talking to them about vulnerability. Well, have you said that to her? And typically guys' responses back to me will go, she doesn't want to hear that or she's going to think I'm a weak man if I tell her that. Like I can't tell her that. And really that's just not true. You see, the fact that you can show up and be vulnerable with your woman or with a woman that you're getting to know actually shows a tremendous amount of strength. See, society has told you as a man that vulnerability is a woman's game and that if you do that then you're a pussy or you know, you're not a real man. And really that's just a complete lie. Why? Because as a woman, we want to be able to access that side of you. Here's the other thing. Not only do we want to access that side in you, as a woman, that's our innate gift. Our innate gift is to nurture you, to love you, to heal you. For crying out loud, we bring life into this world through our vagina. We are pretty fucking magical women, people. We are magical. So when you show up, and you don't give a woman your vulnerability. You're basically saying, I'm not giving you access to me as a man, which essentially tells a woman, I don't need you. What? That's not what a woman wants to hear. A woman wants to be able to be there for a man. I wanna share a story about something that I had uh, an encounter with, an experience with, um, being in a relationship with a man who was very capable, was the kind of, he's the kind of guy that can just make things happen. And one day, things were going really catastrophic for him in his world. And he looked at me and said, I can't do it, it's, it's too much, it's too much. And in that moment, he just broke down and started crying. And my innate response as a woman was to wrap my arms around him, to hold him, and to pour my love into him. Now, he had a role in this. He had to use his strength to go against societal norms and to show himself to me. And the other thing was, he had to take a risk that I would receive him well. And I will say there was a third. He had to be able to receive the love that I was giving him. You see, if you go through your life, men, not being vulnerable and putting up shields and putting up walls, you are missing 
the opportunity to capture, to feel, to receive the essence of what a woman truly is. Her nurturing side, her giving side, her caring side, all of those things that bring healing and bring joy to a man. I mean, for crying out loud, you're not just in this journey to have sex. If that were it, you could go pay a prostitute to do that. But there's something deeper inside of you that needs not just sex because, hey, who doesn't need sex? I do. Um, but there's a part of you as a man that still needs to be loved and nurtured and cared for and respected and championed. And so the only way that you can ever access that is through vulnerability. If you're constantly sending a message to your woman or to the women in the world, I've got it all, I don't need you. Yeah, you may get dates with a woman, but it'll never go anywhere else. Why? Because you've built this invisible wall that says, I don't need anyone, which is only self-protection, by the way, and keeps you blocked from actually getting love. But it's, hey, I don't need anyone, and I don't need the essence of what you have to offer with your feminine spirit, with your feminine grace as a woman. I don't need that aspect of you as a woman. That's essentially what you're saying. You're like, well, why would I ever say that? But you do say that. Your walls say that. And so... When I talk to you about vulnerability, I understand that what I'm encouraging you to do, what I'm empowering you to do, is to take a risk. And you know what? I have to be honest with you. Vulnerability doesn't always work out. I can't tell you how many times I've been vulnerable and it's blown up in my face. But you know what? That will not stop me from receiving love. That will not cause me to put walls up in my heart and say, fuck you to the world because someone didn't handle my vulnerability right. Shame on them. That's their thing. That's not gonna stop me. See, I was really fortunate to grow up with a dad who was super vulnerable. And so he taught me what vulnerability looked like. And as I went through my life, I realized that taking a risk and being vulnerable actually brought me more healing, more redemption, more love, more freedom than I had ever encountered. And so I just want you to know as a man, like you're not on this journey alone. Women have to take the same risk with being vulnerable, especially now, because now men are like, well, fine, you can reduce for yourself, you can take care of yourself, so what do you need me for? So even as a woman, showing up in our vulnerability is a scary thing for us, to be able to say, I need you, when we've empowered ourselves to become self-reliant. So to show up and go, hey, I need you in this aspect of my life, still takes tremendous courage on our part as a woman. So vulnerability is the gateway to receiving love, to being loved well, to experiencing, experiencing beautiful lovemaking. Like that's a whole aspect of being in an intimate relationship with a person. It's not just like putting your bodies together going <laughs> But in the middle of lovemaking saying, oh my God, I love when you touch me there. Would you just turn me over and would you just Push yourself inside of me like this. That's so vulnerable. It's saying, hey, this is something that I desire and I desire it from you. That's a vulnerable move. Obviously, I could get really graphic here and I would really love to get graphic here, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that. Anyways, point is, men, you've been lied to. Society has told you that vulnerability is a woman's game and that you as a man should hide that, you should suppress that. And I'm calling that bullshit because now more than ever, that's what women need. They need men who are comfortable and confident in their own damn skin to go, hey, yeah, of course I still have needs. Of course I still have fears. Like, yes I do, I'm a human being. You see, vulnerability is not a man's game or a woman's game, it's a human thing and it's access through the heart. It's access through taking chances, risking, using the courage that's inside of you to jump off the ledge and to go, I'm about to share my heart with you and I feel like I'm gonna fall. And doing it every single time and not denying that aspect of who you are. So obviously there's a lot more to be said about vulnerability. It's not something I would encourage you to go and just do with the whole world and be like, ah, here's my ass, world, take a look. I'm not saying that, but I am saying if you want to get to a woman's heart and if you want her heart to get to yours, it's going to require vulnerability. Make sure that you like this video, 
you subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't gotten those, that free video course about confidence, hello, what are you waiting for? Get it and let it change your life. Much love mm, from my heart. Did you feel it? Did you feel it? Mm, I'll do it again. Did you feel it that time? Good. From my heart, Erica Angelo, to yours, babe. Take care.